is the caliphate. Uh, those who are now using uh, uh, suicide bombers, how to fight against that? And these difficulties is terribly complex to, to, because we have, especially in Europe, we have a discussion which are endless. We are close by of the Muslim world. It, they, they are next door. They are in Europe. Half of Bosnia is uh, has Minai. It's the remaining part of the Ottoman Empire. Uh, it's two hours flight from Paris. Uh, Alger, it's a uh, one hour flight from Marseille. Uh, and this religious part has already started with the initial conflict which pollute everything in the Mediterranean area, largely said, is the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. As long as this conflict is not solved, we will not see big evolution in the other conflict in which the Muslim community as, a, as a, at large is involved. I stop there. I, may, I hope to, to have a question about that. Bon, why these operations are not working well, technically? We need four conditions, in my view. Mandate clarity, what does that mean for a, a military? A mandate, it's a mission. And I will show you some examples. The degree of force authorized. Huh. Chapter 6 or Chapter 7 of the UN Charter. Chapter 6, in order to simplify, it's you have only the right to use your weapons for self-defense. Chapter 7, you can enforce the mandate. So you can use your weapon in order to impose the mandate. But you have plenty of nuances, and I, we will go back to that. Goodwill of the player. In Bosnia, do it, every, everybody was ready to sign a ceasefire. Or it's the same with Israeli and Palestinian. And how many ceasefires have been established? Uh, how many have been broken? The same number plus one. And the last point, I go uh, relatively quick, uh, is that because this, these operations are not strictly military, but they are involving the civilian aspect, the reconstructions, agents, different agencies, now NGOs, and all the international organizations, it's necessary to have coordination. Marvelous word but how to implement, how to coordinate that. And I will show you some examples which explain why, for instance, in Afghanistan today, we have no coordination, which explain the lack of efficiency of a certain number of players. Weak mandates. <laughs> I will take it. Everybody will, will be covered. Huh? Don't worry. Every, I shoot in every direction. <laughs> I, will, I will be safe. safe. UN Profor in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Rwanda, also. The commanding general there were unable to complete the mandate. Unable by the mandate itself. And the journalists were expecting that uh, because we deploy a force that will stabilize, etc., blah, 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 blah. Wrong. Wrong. Impossible. Having a weak mandate is one thing, but you have also hidden disturbances. It's what we call the ROEs. Ah, technicality uh, of the diplomatic words, the rules of engagement, which decrease the freedom of action that you have. For instance, in Lebanon, we were under chapter six, so only self-defense, only self-defense. But we have special rules telling us, oh, uh, you, you receive a shot. So you have the right to reply at the same level. That is to say, if you receive a, a, a burst of, a, of a Kalashnikov, you cannot use a, 
a 0.5 or a 0.50 heavy machine gun. But that, no, 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 no. Please, before replying, are you sure that you have been shot at? <laughs> Please. So you, you have no right to reply. Wait, wait for a confirmation shot at you, of course. <laughs> oh? And then, and then, after the seven miss by your opponent, you have the right to reply, but not to shoot efficiently. You have only the right to, to shoot a warning shot. They say to shoot not on the target, but close to the target. You may imagine uh, how fearful uh, you, ha you, you are uh, for the, your enemies when you are under this rule. And more and more, you, you, it was impossible to have artillery, it was etc., etc. But you have also other nuances which uh, kill the efficiency of our forces. NATO, NATO, the strongest military organization in the world ever. I just repeat uh, the word that we used in NATO when I was in Brussels or in Rome or in, in Kosovo with NATO forces, the strongest organization, military organization. Aha, the strongest, right. Do you see the strongest in Afghanistan today? Because it's polluted by that caveats, hidden holes or hidden restriction. What does that mean? That means that each contingent commander is under the command.